Hi, Dr. Dominic Carrera talking about hip injuries. One of the problems that I see in the office related to the diagnosis of hip injuries is simply localizing the pain um, as a hip source. So uh, today we're going to talk about three physical exam findings that I think can really help uh, to isolate the hip from other sources of hip pain. Uh, the other thing I ask patients to do is to simply point to the area uh, in which they're hurting and uh, oftentimes uh, patients will have been diagnosed with a back issue and all along uh, they've been really having hip pain and, and uh, patients can be misleading in terms of saying, yeah, I think it's my back, but they're actually uh, having a hip source. So tell me where you're having pain. It hurts here and here, but it feels like it's deep inside. So here, uh, and this, this is a good example of classic areas of pain. So patients localizing the pain, deep anterior, uh, lateral as well, and then uh, he's also shown us what we call the C sign, which is basically a C uh, cupping around the hip um, and demonstrating that the pain is deep and all the way around front, back, and uh, to the lateral uh, aspect of the hip. The other area that patients may complain of pain is deep posterior. It's actually in their buttock area. So between buttock, um, lateral aspect of the hip, and front, these would be the most uh, classic descriptions in terms of localizing where the pain uh, comes from. Isolated pain in the, towards the back or the buttock area can be caused by low back symptoms. So in, in differentiating uh, the problem, if patients are localizing only to the buttock area, uh, we more commonly think of the low back or lumbar spine as a source of pain. So there are three provocative tests of hip pain that are helpful. Uh, kind of classic tests for hip pain that I'd like to review uh, here today. So the first one's called the straight, straight leg raise test, straight leg raise. So we have the patient lift her leg straight up in the air and ask the patient, where is it that you have pain? So we're looking for front of the hip versus posterior pain um, as important differentiating uh, areas, particularly with posterior pain, the source can be the low back and it's important, therefore, to ask the patient where they're hurting. Second test is the flexion, internal rotation, and adduction test, which is flexion, internal rotation, and then adduction. This is an anterior impingement test. It's a classic test for femoris tabular impingement also, and it, we ask patients where they have pain with this uh, maneuver. The last test is the flexion, abduction, and external rotation test, or the Faber test, which is uh, done in this way in terms of allowing the knee to drop out in external rotation when the foot is crossed over on the other uh, thigh. And so in this position, again, we ask the patient, uh, does this uh, pain you? Uh, this test has been described for SI joint pain. Uh, the localization of the pain is again important in terms of differentiating hip versus uh, low back or SI joint pain. Thanks very much.